Hello world, this is Kimberly and Connor Tracy. Hey guys. At Big Red SEO, coming to you live this Friday in Nebraska. Yep. And it's been on. a super cool day. We're trying some new software and some new details. So if you have a chance to join us, go ahead and click like or make a comment. We're gonna mm -hmm. dive right in, yeah? Uh, yeah, uh, wow, what did I do with all my stuff? <laughs> <laughs> you lost all your notes because you were trying to set everything I up. I did, yeah. I did, I had a bunch of stuff going on. Um, yeah, as Kim said, uh, Kimberly and Connor Tracy here with Big Red SEO. Um, you can find all of our videos, everything that we're doing is going to be up on YouTube, the URL is down there at the bottom. Of course, we'll link it and all that kind of fun stuff. So, um, we got a bunch of different things to do. Can you shrink that down to be a smaller? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we've got multiple computers going. So this is the first time that we're doing a live show with, uh, using OBS. So OBS is um, open broadcast software, basically. Uh, it allows you to put in that little fancy little graphic over here. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course text and all that kind of stuff. And of course the bumper in the very beginning that you first saw. So yeah. we're testing that software out. Please let us know if it is working. If it's not, if you're having audio issues, let us know. But here's the big stuff. This is episode number. <laughs> What was the total? It was like over 30. 30. Yeah, 36 is yeah. our episode number. So. I think at this point we can't, we, there, we're we not allowed to say that we can't, we don't know it or we didn't figure it out. <laughs> I think we always use that, like, you know, when you're in front of friends and prospects and they ask like advice and feedback and situations. And, and when we first did this whole thing, it was kind of more of an experiment. We were trying to give back. We were trying to get in the face of a lot of people that maybe we lost connection with. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people always say, hey, they admire us. They admire our marriage and just like the way that we live our life. So we we're like, sure, like, let's just go ahead and pop into video, right? And kind of like share kind of what our journey is and how we do everything every single day. Day, right yep. and then it kind of like morphed and then you always love to do a b testing right so it's uh, a b testing much. if you're not like a tech person it's like do one thing and get the results and then do something else right um and figure out which one works best so we started on the business page and then we converted it to my personal page and they would share on your page and then mm -hmm. we converted it back to business so and then, yeah. yeah and essentially all of that was just to find out where the shares were actually happening, what the dwell time was on the yeah. videos, who was doing what. And uh, of course the business page gets more stats, more analytics in there. So uh, we want to be able to do all of that. I'm sorry, I'm watching the replay no, over cool. here. Cool. Yeah. Got this all up so we're here. testing. So, so if you guys kind of roll with us, right? Like it's, it's all about testing and figuring out. Uh, the reason why we wanted to use this software specifically is so we can splice information Send it off to people as they need, mm -hmm. right? We're, and plus, we're kind of geeks when it comes to technology. <laughs> yeah, and, and I mean, we could do little things like bringing up images like yeah. that one there. So, so if we're like talking about something or if I want to sneak, sneak a kiss to you. Oh, you turned it on before I can do it. <laughs> you turned it on before I even go there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Obviously, oh my goodness. I've got control of the mouse and Kim does it. So it is what it is. But anyways, so uh how's your week been so we're middle of december yeah it's like where did 2018 go right guys like i have had so many conversations over this last week and it's super cool because i used to be in the mindset right and and just in life in general where it was like oh i just want to get to friday i just want to get to friday just want to get to friday on average i think there's only 52 fridays a year right um now <laughs> we're like leap year does it have 53 i don't know i don't know if leap year is on a friday does it equal 53? I don't know. So anyway, long story. These are the things that go in my head, peeps. Um, but at the end of the day, like just recapping with people and being like, gosh, like where did 2018 go? And reflecting, what did you break through? What did, where did you grow? Like, how is your business doing? How is your life doing, right? Mm -hmm. um, how are you living with intention? Like there's multiple just conversations happening and it's pretty cool because a lot of the people that we're surrounding ourselves with are really happy and successful and um, even if they're going through life trials and tribulations they're excited to break through it which for us is super fun to be able to see people grow and like not just their website designs and marketing right because that's what we do mm -hmm. um, and then mentoring and coaching but just like seeing them be more present in life and just 
adapting with the changes, right? And something that's been a common theme the past couple weeks for me in having conversations with people, whether it's their paid per click or their marketing or just feeling frustrated with money not coming in is talking about success and why, why not have success? right? Why limit your success? Mm -hmm. um, the three things that we keep coming back is just ask why. Like, you know, we had one guy and I think we referenced this in the last video where he was like, oh, I don't want to make millions. I just want a piece of the pie. And I'm like, why not make millions? <laughs> right? Like if you're good at what you do and you know that you can serve people and help people to your best capability and mm -hmm. you offer value and you show up every single day lit up and ready to go, why not make millions, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it gets really uncomfortable, right? Really but uncomfortable. Here, here's the thing. I, I'm. I like the aspect or the idea of money and that that kind of thing. And at the same time, um, I don't really have a need for. Yeah. Money. So here's the thing about money specifically that I've learned over the last. Uh, I think of like 12, 12 months or so is money is a great source of energy. The key hint is make money, but be detached from it, right? Mm -hmm. Make the money work for you. Mm -hmm. Get this. No, I'm good. Get, make the money work for you. Get what you need. Get what you want. And then just don't squeeze. Like my coach says, don't squeeze the money. Don't squeeze it like a sponge, right? Because then it won't expand. And there's multiple into that. Um, she explains it way better. But the whole point is it's okay to make money in own things. Just don't let them own you. So like, that's the end at the end of the day. But other than that, this week has been amazing. I had a stacked schedule. Um, I learned something new about myself. Nice. Yeah. So like, I'm still going through this process of learning and I have a pretty wicked strong mindset, right? And stay very, very positive. But every once in a while, I like to crave a little drama, right? Like I'm still even working where I'm at. I crave a little drama in my life. And if I don't take care of myself and get grounded and cut cords and continue moving forward, um, if I if I slip on my non-negotiables, right? Uh, if I don't honor what I say that I'm gonna do or how I'm gonna do it, I kind of get a little wobbly and it could be from having a conversation with somebody that's super like wound up and anxiety driven. And if I don't cut cords from that and do the techniques that I know to do, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden I can get anxiety. And the thing that I learned was I have one to two seconds to make the decision to cut cords, get rid of it and go right back into mindset. And so this week, just learning that about myself, right? Because that's pretty vulnerable, right? That's extreme ownership of, oh gosh, like even us having our lives pretty clean and clear, especially in business and projects and mm -hmm. so forth. Um, I still have that urge to want to crave that drama sometimes. It's usually hungry, right? Um, it's, it's literally a, a, a light switch. Yeah. So uh, when something goes on, once that situation is over, yeah. you have to flip that switch off and then return into whatever the next thing is that you need to do. Right. Um, so, yeah, uh, yeah, being able to do that, I mean, you're better at it than what I am, but okay. there, I, give don't, some credit. I don't absorb the stuff to start with. Yeah, so, you definitely give yourself some off a little credit. bit on there, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's, uh, that's what's going on there. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have been working on trying to come up with some sort of new, uh, <laughs> <laughs> new title or what is this that we do? Is it just a mm -hmm. Facebook Live? Is it a YouTube video that we put up? Is it a weekly thing? Which it is. It has been you know, last... Uh, 35 almost, episodes. Almost 36. 36, 36 episodes. 36, 36 um, episodes. That so, means, guys, for 36 weeks, we have been consistent. Booyah. Mm -hmm. Booyah. Now, we haven't always made it at 2.30. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? He turned the energy, guys. Like, he turned the energy. He was like, yeah, we're excited. Wow. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so we kind of put a new title with what we're doing, uh, the title being Success Energy Optimized. And then what we deal with and what we've always talked about on, on this stuff has been anything from business, uh, web stuff, marketing, uh, life stuff, and just everything else that falls under it. So whether it's, it's things that people need help with or people that we're finding and sharing, that's kind of what we've been doing. So mm -hmm. at the moment, that's where the title of what it is we're doing. But if you guys have a better title. Oh, no. I like I the title. <laughs> I like, yeah. I mean, if you've got title ideas, uh, if you followed us on this journey, 
Mm -hmm. right of these episodes if you think of something that's common that you've been able to pull from us and kind of like learn from us definitely share it right it helps us to be able to help other people um yeah so if i recall on our facebook page (laughs) connor made a pretty kick-ass graphic today so this guy's been having a little fun in his creativity right so kim bought me a laptop (laughs) She bought me a new laptop, what, uh, four or five weeks ago? Yeah, some, some I don't ago. know. Like, time just goes so So, I've been needing a new laptop for a while. A long, long time. He had a dinosaur, um, which you just, that dinosaur we just purchased three years ago. So, he's really hard on technology. Yeah, well, you know. He uses it and abuses it. Well, I have to do everything. And he bites it. I have to do everything. So. <laughs> But yeah, so with the new laptop, of course, it's got uh, screen sensitivity on there or touch on there, and I've got a stylus, so I can actually do better with my Photoshop. You're really good, yeah. Uh, cutting people out. I it's got, not perfect or anything like that. It's, it's not supposed to be. Watching them do it, but it's so funny how different we are. Like I'm creative, but I'm creative in different aspect, right? So he'll be going and cutting out, and I can count down. It would be like one, one thousand, two, one thousand. I'm like, okay, you're losing me. I gotta go. <laughs> but he just wants to be able to finish that. He's like, hold on, real quick. Like, let me do this thing, and I'm like, my mind's off somewhere else. I'm Only like, <laughs> because if I don't complete it, you're gonna come back and tell, why is my ear missing? You know. Well, I don't know. I tried to get him to put a unicorn in the image today, but he was yeah, like, I, I, he murdered that. He didn't yeah. want that. No, no. So, no, no. but yes, we had a couple of things that we talked about. Uh, that I wanted to discuss in this episode. Bi- video episode. It's weird. 36. Episode. episode 36. Uh, but one of them, uh, to go on to the security end of things, yeah. the web stuff, uh, WordPress, of course, came out last week. Uh, the new 5.0 version, the Gutenberg builders all built in, the Beppo, Beto, whatever it was, the, it's the name of the, the, the I think call it a computer update. I think it was Beto, B E T O. Anyways, um, so that name well, came ask out. Me because I pronounce things weird anyway. Yeah, um, but today uh, WordPress announced that there is a security update, uh, so there's a new version 5.0.1. Yeah, but it's also been uh, backported into the 4.9 branch. Basically, if you have a version of WordPress that is older than 3. Point something you need to make a security <laughs> update. And if you have a WordPress that is three point something, please call me and I will If you it. didn't know your WordPress started with three point something, call us. That's what I was going through my head. I was like, oh my gosh, they may not even know. They just know they have WordPress. They don't know what update they have. Yeah. So if you need help with your website, guys, and you're in WordPress and you don't know if you have the most recent, just reach out. Yep. We'll, we'll so if you're in the 4.9 branch, make sure you upgrade to the latest version of that. If you're in the 5.0, make sure you upgrade to the latest version of that. And so success story, because this guy has been coaching and mentoring some people as well, right? Yep. So the thing in the thought process is if you are one of those designers or marketing, because we do have people that follow us for that too, mm-hmm. not just business and personal. Um, don't be afraid to reach out to your clients about these updates. Updates. Don't wait to the last minute and then try to flurry them. Instead, maybe build a package, do different stuff. Like one thing that you had one of your clients do was you built a five-hour package. So he was the the client asked for something and it would have taken like 15 minutes. And instead, he built a five-hour package and then sent it off. And then he converted it right and he got it in. So uh, don't be afraid of that, right? So don't be afraid of doing all that stuff. Uh oh, did you see something? I saw a warning come up. I saw I had to lean in. Calling my voice. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know. Yeah, it's basically saying be quiet. Encoding overload. Yeah, encoding overload. Oh. Consider turning down the video settings or using a faster encoder. That's what it says. You know what that really says? I'm too fast. Oh. (laughs) Yes, you're you're moving your hands too much. You clean the house. I'll buy you a computer. Anybody know a maid? <laughs> no, you have to do it. You okay. have to do it. You clean the house so you can get a new computer. Yeah. Not so much. Okay, so you made a full circle round. You made a kick ass social media image yes. today. Yes. And there was something about you were going to ask me questions? Yes, I was going to ask you questions. Yeah. Uh, so it's coming up to Christmas, right? So we know all that's coming you up. You bought your present. Well, you see, and that's exactly what. That's exactly what this is leading into. Oh, right? oh. So, so you are my present. So yes. Are well, you gonna sit in the manger <laughs> and be the three wise men? Wow, you were so <laughs> totally uh, took it there. <laughs> what are the questions? Uh, so you have your choice right now. So we're gonna put this out there. So it can either be three or five. Kim, which would you like? Three or five? Questions? Yes. 
Oh, five. This is going to be fun. Name five things that you want for Christmas that you don't have a chance in hell of getting. <laughs> this is going to be good. A clean house, <laughs> laundry done, uh, <laughs> Mickey Mouse in my living room, <laughs> Uh, my dogs to speak English, human English. So that you can understand them. So I can understand them. That's number four. Number four. Uh, number five, Connor wear a dress. <laughs> I don't even know what a dress. How can I expect you to own a dress? I was going to say, did you even have one? I mean, I've got my kilt and so other people refer to it as a dress. You said something like, hey, what do I want for Christmas that there's no way in hell that I would get, right? Yes, something I, like that. Yeah, so Connor would no way in hell wear a dress. No. Yeah, no. no. Okay. So then it, taking it the other direction, what are the three things that you would like for Christmas? Oh, I would like you to cook me dinner. Guys, it's so simple. I know. Did you see his yeah. eyes roll? Isn't that crazy? Isn't Maybe. that crazy? Um, I would like to go see Christmas lights. Wow. Is it, there's not a wrong answer here. No, no, um, not a wrong answer. Yeah. Uh, I would like, uh, ooh, <laughs> this might be TMI. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Do I have to say it? Like, <laughs> I would like you to take a shower with me. Oh, that's also a big deal. Connor loves his shower alone today. I, I do. I do. So, yes, so now this is on our business page. Oh, that's great. Our personal page. <laughs> it's out there. Married, right? I mean, I'm married. Yeah, so, okay, so that was next question. So there you go. No, that's, that's it. it. That's okay. all. Okay. But the one thing I do want to make a point you know, with the items that you both the items that you wanted that you won't have a chance in hell to get. <laughs> And the items that you do want yeah. that may come true, which right, right, probably right. not. No, no, no. no. Um, but none of it was a, a, a physical or monetized number or... Mickey Mouse. Well, yeah. I'll hire somebody but, from... No, it has to be Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Well, you, There's no chance in hell you can hire anybody. Like, you can find anybody. We went to IHOP this week, and some dude put on a Grinch hat. Like, we can find it and hire it anywhere, the pole, right? I want the, the true, hand. like, magical Mickey Mouse in my living room. Mm. Yeah. So the, the crazy thing with the IHOP deal was the guy put on the big head, came out, and then scared the hell out of the <laughs> He did. It was like a four-year-old and a seven-year-old. They, they started, started screaming. crying. They started screaming. And he continued to keep talking. I keep talking to him. We're like, no, it was bad. I was like, stop. Go away. Go go to the back. Or the do parents all. were like, can you please step can away you? from my child? So, of course, what did he do while talking to the kids? Yeah. It's okay. Can <laughs> no, he turned around and turned the table, right? Well, he took the head off and then came more direction. Oh, the kids screamed. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, yes, so, that, that's kind of all over there. Okay. Um, I asked questions or you got more? I oh. don't have any other questions as such for you, and I'm not sure if I want <laughs> you to ask me questions. So, go, I guess go ahead. We'll see how that goes. What is one thing that pisses you off? Oh, God. It changes daily, guys. That's why there's I ask so, all the time. <laughs> there's so, so much. I mean, everything from traffic to just people in general. Um, but I, I guess the big, probably the big thing that would piss me off the most, or that does piss me off the most, are yeah. people that are unwilling to learn, people who are unwilling to mm -hmm. change their mind, and people who are unwilling to be educated about something. So kind well, of like people that are stuck in their ways. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not saying like... Did you feel the energy go serious, guys? <laughs> I'm not saying like a political thing or a religious thing or anything else like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just talking about the ability to learn. You know, if I want to get the brakes changed on my car yeah. and I go down to the mechanic and the mechanic says, hey, Connor, do you want to learn how to do this? Awesome. I have a, a, an idea to learn that. Yeah, yeah. Now, I may not want to learn that at all, but yeah. I'm just saying that, that just in general, people's unwillingness to learn things. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It's, it's super cool watching. That's something that pissed me off. It's super cool watching just that answer because you're huge on education, right? So it kind of yeah. makes sense that it would be like, oh, like this is the thing that drives me crazy because you do teach a lot. You mm -hmm. help people. Um, and you also take something super complex. So the next thing is, what do you want for Christmas? Nothing. I, I honestly don't. 
the, the only thing I could possibly want for Christmas, and it is a physical item, would be a newer computer. Yeah, newer. 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 Uh, well, what? But but even from that end, I mean, this computer is perfectly yeah. fine. It's doing what we need. We've got the video camera thing figured out at this point. Yeah. That was a, a yeah. drawback that we had quite a while. Right. Um, so I, I really don't have anything. I, I would like a restaurant to be open on Christmas Day. We do. We have restaurants. Well, open you've got Christmas IHOP day. and you've got Village Inn on Christmas I, Day and Denny's. <laughs> I was going to say, don't forget Denny's. But beyond that, I mean, everybody closes up for Christmas Day. And, I mean, we don't do the, yeah. the the kids, the presents, the tree, the the family dinner, and all that kind of stuff. So have a restaurant open that I can go to. That would be awesome. That would be a great Christmas present for me. If you guys know a restaurant that's open in Omaha, Nebraska, mm -hmm. on the day of Christmas, put it in the comments. Other than Chinese food. So he I, can go through. You would still even consider Chinese. Who hot? Who We call who hot. Who hot? Who hot? Okay, so what else you got on the list? Uh, that's really about it. I, I did have one other topic that I was kind of talking about before. Uh -huh. um, we were talking about productivity. Ooh, yes. And uh, how to be more productive in different things, yeah. in different situations. Yeah. Yeah. Whether it's a, a work situation, whether it's a home situation, or whatever. Yeah. But just the, the process of being productive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've got my way of being productive, and Kim has her way. <laughs> Connor does have his way of being productive. And then there's my way, and then there's their team way, and then there's the whole company way. And there's, yeah. So one one way that I'm productive, you know, so yeah. if you take a, a big list and you've got a whole bunch of things to do, I'm productive because I only do half of them, and therefore it's done. Sometimes it doesn't even get halfway, I'll be honest, guys. Like, so, depending on what the task is, you might not even get halfway through. But if you break that out for everybody else, you know, if Until there's... Until I come back around. If you have 20 things on a list, sometimes yeah. that's too much stuff. Yeah. So only put 10 things on the list, you'll complete them all, and you'll be happy. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go, product, productivity Done. 101 right yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, the only other one that I had... Um, Let's see. So we had <laughs> that. We literally, um, guys, just had this conversation a few minutes ago. Like, no, like an hour and a half ago at lunch. <laughs> we had other stuff came up. I know. Um, hard stuff. There you go. So you got hard I stuff, like easy it. stuff. <laughs> okay. So, so if you have uh, stuff that you need to get done, stuff that you're struggling with, yeah. get all that done in the morning time, and then after lunch, do all the easy shit. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. at least for me, that's been the yeah. way I've operated. So if I have uh, coding stuff or, or struggling stuff that I need to get right. done, yeah. get that done as early as possible in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And then in the afternoon, I can just go fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I rarely let him go fuck off. Just like, no. <laughs> That's his fantasy. That's probably what you should have asked for Christmas. I probably. <laughs> so many hours to actually go away from office. You know, there's the phrase, uh, uh, don't put off till tomorrow what you can do today. Yeah. So the idea being that, um, oh, we lost video completely. Oh, no. Oh, no. So I guess that is the. No, uh, no, no, no. The Talking. end of the show uh, right now. Uh, we'll put that back up there so you can still hear me. But that is it. No more questions. Nothing <laughs> else. We're done. Next week, we'll uh, we'll figure out is what's going on next recording? week. Is it still recording? Just no still image. On. Just no more image. Okay, so it's like camera. Our, that times yes, out. They, they can still hear our voices, though. Yeah, but Facebook will penalize us for putting uh, up images. Okay, guys, well, join us next week whenever we continue discussing productivity, right? As well as a couple other interesting things to help you guys hit the ground running yep. for your actual 2019 start. We've got some cool stuff in the pipeline to help you guys streamline. Again, if you have questions, comments, um, feel free to put them down below, right? So we're here as a resource for you guys. Utilize and maximize our skills as much as possible. If you've received benefit of this, please go ahead and like as well as share this um and yeah so this is kimberly and connor with big red seo signing off have a great week great. and the video's back it's back <laughs> thanks guys have a great week we'll chat All soon right, guys. go check out our videos on uh, youtube yeah, and you check can. out our videos here on, uh, on facebook and you can learn next so. week what my version of productivity is oh yeah there we go all righty bye All right, guys have a great day